All right, first alert weather day. It does continue for us here in the valley, and we're tracking these storms, which are still severe in northwest Minnesota with a hail potential. And I want to show you something I'm concerned about a rotating storm as well. More on that momentarily. A line of lightning carries itself all the way down towards Gwinter. Lisbon, Gwinter, you've seen non severe storms, but boy, has it been raining cats and dogs in your area, and it's just off to the south and east of the FM area. Here's the severe area as we look towards Gary, Fertile, and up into central and southern. In southeastern parts of Polk County, the severe thunderstorm warning continues. I'm seeing fewer pinks in the radar display, meaning a lower chance of that huge hail. But gusty straight line winds really will be a portion of the storm as well. Could be capable of some 60 to 70 mile per hour winds. East of Faustin, you see this big red blob here. This one not only has potential for some hail within it in the northern reaches of Clearwater County. So we're talking Bagley and points north into northern Clearwater. Take a look at this. This is the velocities. Your warning continues till 1045. We're seeing very bright blues next to very bright reds. This is extremely strong rotation. It has moved out of the eastern Polk County area and into Clearwater County. Very tight rotation with this storm between Bagley and Clearbrook, and that is blasting out towards the uh, northern and eastern reaches of Beltrami County right now. That's going to be heading in towards Bemidji. I'm watching that close, but that storm is rotating tightly as it moves its way eastward. Here's the line down through Fargo, non-severe, but we do have some hail potential from those storms. Rain, I'm really concerned about flooding. Storms have been training one after the other after the other from that Gary area where you see the oranges, reds. This is three to five and a half inches of estimated rainfall by the Doppler radar. So some potential localized flooding in those areas. And here's a look at the storms producing hail. The hail potential waning just a little bit with the loss of the sun of the day that will continue, but that wind threat continues. And I'm concerned about that rotation for the storm working its way into Clearwater County and Beltrami County right now. It's still muggy, 82 degrees in Fargo. It's 70s up to the north and 73 in Roseau. The dew points are well in the 70s still, so it's still sticky even into the late night hours. Look at the vivid lightning as we look off to the north and east of our studios. 82 degrees feels like 89 on this sticky night with the south southeast breeze at nine miles per hour. Hour by hour forecast as we head to bed tonight shows the thunderstorm chances on this line here. This model missing the uh, boat here with what's going on down in southeast North Dakota, but the threat will slowly work its way off to the south and east as we go through the night. By 2 or 3 a.m., this should be ending. And now look what's coming at us for the morning. As we rise and shine in the James River Valley and Devil's Lake Basin between 4 and 6 a.m., more windy and large thunderstorms will be pushing their way in. So a morning risk of storms for our western counties. Those storms will continue to track into the Red River Valley, and we're going to have waves of storm on Friday. Watch what I mean. As I set it in motion in the afternoon, here goes that initial morning wave. Then afternoon development will be very solid. And there'll be a risk from the Red River Valley and points east of rotating thunderstorms once again tomorrow. And I look at the activity there, gusty straight line winds and all hazards uh, on board with more rain. I'm worried about flooding for localized areas as well. So the enhanced risk is in Minnesota, primarily with a slight risk in the Red River Valley and northeast North Dakota for your day tomorrow. Fargo temperatures will be in the 60s to start. We'll only warm up into the 70s. The hot weather will be suppressed to the south and east toward the Twin Cities. All of us cooling off in the afternoon and evening thanks to thunderstorms to 70 or cooler. Great shot here from Jane. Thanks for uploading all your photos, helping us keep everyone ahead of the storms tonight. First alert weather day again tomorrow. Busy one. Look at the 70s and quiet weather for the weekend. That looks delightful. I think I might sleep for the entire weekend and get out and enjoy some 40s for lows in the morning for many areas Monday and for Tuesday, you guys. Big bowling tournament going on in heaven tonight. It sounds like uh, somebody's getting some pins. All right, thanks. Still